right. Let's see. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good morning. All right. Hey, we got a lot of people here. What's going on? What's up, Aunt Sophie? Allie Harden. Uh, who we got? Sophie Dumped. Juliana. Man, I appreciate y'all. I recognize these names. Let me set this up here. Ooh, you know what? I think I'm gonna hold my phone on this one. Nineteen is a lot. Aquatic self rescue instructor. Oh, we got a lifeguard on the stream. Okay, some people are gonna die in the pool today. Maybe you should uh, maybe you should pay attention to the pool, bro. Greetings from Poland. All right. Greetings from Santa Cruz. Let me show you this. Let me show you this beautiful, beautiful day we have here. It is noon. I won't lie, I just woke up. That's how it is. It's a Saturday. Oh wait, no, it's a Thursday. All right, if my phone falls, it's fucked because I'm on the balcony. So we will hope that it does not. Um, let's see. No students in the pool right now. All right, all right. If somebody gets in the pool, um, you know, look away maybe. Just maybe. I feel like I should preface this by explaining why my voice sounds the way that it does. And maybe I'm talking too loud. I'll explain this as well. Um, last night I went to a punk concert for the first time in my life. I, I don't even think I'd ever really listened to punk. And um, I think my eardrums are damaged forever, to be completely honest. Just woke up and I'm going to bed in two hours. Yeah, that's time change for you. <clears throat> I know I did. I did a lot of screaming yesterday, so it's 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 um, it's hard to talk. To be completely honest, do you wear glasses? Some of us were wondering. I don't wear glasses. No, I think I probably posted a story with some glasses on. Those were those were just blue light glasses for my computer. Like when I'm making beats, I like to wear them because it it just doesn't strain my eyes as much. You read my comment. I'm going to faint. Well, I hope that's not the lifeguard talking. So you don't have to hear your own music again, Lucky. Ah, Alina's in the house. Now we missed this. We missed this. Greg's trying to be a therapist now. Yeah, that's, that's my new calling. I think I've done a good job too, if I may. Since we're talking about my music, let me just play some fire real quick. Real quick. Nothing crazy. Just a cool ass song. You know. Hold on. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let's let's connect. There we go. I hope you guys uh I hope those cars are aren't too loud in the back. What kind of coffee are you drinking? Actually, I ground up some coffee 10 minutes ago, put it in the coffee maker, and, and that's it. I don't know what kind of coffee it is, I won't lie. On me is a bop, I have to say. Well, since you said that, let's bop it. Oh, wow, I guess I don't even have it added, I don't even have it added to my liked songs. I hope you guys do. What's this? Hold up. Hold up. Technical difficulties, everybody. One second. This is nothing new. There we go. So 
All right, I won't dance. I won't dance. What is this? Are we lagging? Fuck. Almost forgot about this one. Come on now. So when you're hearing by you just pull up to an open grass land in a bands. All right, we know this one. We know this one. I'm a skip. All right, I just thought I'd play a little bit of fire on a Thursday morning. You know, that's how I like to wake up, get up, look around, see myself in the mirror, smile because I'm a sexy motherfucker. And then I remember that everybody's a sexy motherfucker because life is a sexy motherfucker. On that note, let me play something you guys haven't heard. Um, well, I actually, I did play it in another live stream, but I don't know if everybody was there for that, so. This is a little song that's coming out on Monday, um, which is, there, so it's like in four days, really. Um, and this is it. It's called Deja Vu. Yes, yes, I know, I'm French, it's very clever. I don't know how the sound is, to be honest, but fuck it. By the way, this is the street. So I'm lighting up the whole street right now. You got a great personality Frankly, I don't really have the energy Yeah, I should play tricks Trying to shuffle me But I need a real one For this double G talking about you'll see fix up it's a lesson i don't really need to fucking learn twice i don't need to switch up with reflection i think that i should get before you see the prize why you bringing up these french girls we talked about it months back but you won't ever drop these fun facts i'm on the fence yeah Yeah, that's deja vu. Um, I'm assuming the sound quality wasn't great, but you know what? When the music is this good, that doesn't matter. You know, some of y'all are gonna be like, "Yeah, dude, it does matter." We couldn't hear shit. There are like big trucks. This is kind of a busy road. I'm not gonna lie. So like. It's, it's not the greatest place for a live stream, but you know. Bonjour de la France. Ah, ben Jean-Luc Tazema. Bonjour de Santa Cruz. Ça me fait plaisir que tu sois là. Quality was okay. All right, good to know. Thank you, Anne-Sophie. Somebody's out here. 
actually helping me? So what's been going on in y'all's lives? Let me hear a little bit about y'all. We got, we got 15 people in here. Some of you guys I know. Some of you guys I've known for a long time. Um, but I haven't spoken to you in a minute. So let me hear it. Don't hold back. Tell me about your love. Tell me about your, your hates. Tell me about your friendships, about your heartbreaks, about your, your, your new pair of shoes you like. I don't know. I don't know. Just tell me. Gustavo Marquez, welcome. <laughs> I graduate soon, like 94 days. That, 94 days? Isn't that like the entire school year? That's like, no, good though, good. That, that is soon. You graduating high school? That's an exciting one. We're gonna do B1 exam of French and B2 of English. So it's funny because those are the language you can speak. Is this true? Simping for Subin. Um, if you have any trouble with the French, uh, I would say ask me, but you know, you should probably ask someone that's a little more competent. Uh, merci jean lucas Ça fait plaisir, ça. I graduated last year. I didn't know that, Alina. I did not know that. What you up to now? Still living that college life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genevieve, I see you, I see you on Instagram. I think we're living a pretty similar life. I'm, um, I'm doing my third year right now. Uh, economics, it's great, I love it. I'm currently taking accounting classes. It's, uh, it's intro to accounting, but it feels like the most advanced thing I've ever done in my life and I hate it very much, but I'm passing. I just took I just took a midterm actually for for accounting and I think I failed, so I might fail that class, but it's okay. I don't like my teacher to be honest, so we're gonna blame it on that. What do you do in economics? I uh, learn about the economy. To be honest, you know, it'll be like it'll give me like a cost function of a nation, and it'll be like, all right, what's the marginal propensity to consume of the average consumer in that nation? And, uh, you know, I got to I got to just sit there, look at the paper and admit that I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Pretty sure Greg just failed, Sophie. Thank you, Alina, for your faith in my academic skills. Uh, no, but it's true, though. Accounting, I'm doing really bad in uh, math. I'm OK. Um, the stock market and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. But honestly, it's more math. Like I thought when I joined economics, when I declared that major, I thought it was going to be the stock market, the, the economy, like how to deal with money and all that. Uh, but it turns out it's just a bunch of math. So, um, yeah, I'm not, microeconomics is the worst part. I actually kind of like microeconomics. That's what made me decide to, to choose it. That's what made me decide to go with economics, but you know, I'm not gonna bore y'all with that. Um, yeah, I will say I'm not having a blast in school, but I'm doing music on the side, so I wake up happy. I failed my literature exam. That's okay, Aunt Sophie. That's okay. The sun will rise tomorrow. It's it's just a class. You'll do okay. Stop ignoring my joke. Let me go back. Let me go back. Is it going to be some dark humor? What skills? That's very funny. Very funny. Oh, yeah. Cancer jokes? Yeah. I'm probably going to ignore those on purpose, to be honest. Shakespeare did me dirty. Yeah, Shakespeare has done a lot of people dirty. Shakespeare has made a lot of high school students want to drop out. Let me tell you. Yeah, right? That's so mean of me to do that. I was not trying to be a therapist. I just, just did not know what to say, to be completely honest. How's your fitness doing? Um, damn, I'm Luca. Is that? That's not Luca, right? No. That kind of tripped me out because my friend Luca, that you guys know, um, I've been, he actually goes, he goes here too. He goes to University of California, Santa Cruz. And, um, he, he like, we've been doing fitness together. So that tripped me out, but I'm not going to lie. I was doing really well before winter. I was going to the gym every day. I feel like I was seeing some results and stuff. And then I kind of just, I went to France for like three weeks, did some skiing and I didn't work out a single day. And then I came back 
and I've, I, I've been getting back into it this week. So, um, but I don't want to sit here and be like, oh, I'm back in it because I know myself, I could stop any week. So I'm doing my best, you know. Oh, God damn, Alina. I mean, damn. The doctor didn't laugh. At least you can laugh about it. I'll choose Latin and Greek. That's always really surprised me that in Europe they do Latin and Greek as like languages, because that's not that's not a thing in America. You don't you don't learn Latin and Greek in like high school or I, you can probably choose it in college, but it's it's. I mean, why the fuck, bro? Like, why would you not learn Spanish or German or French? I don't. I mean, how many Latin speakers do you know, really? Like, are you ever are you ever in an airport and you hear someone speaking Greek? You're like, hey, I did Greek in college. You go up to them, you start fucking talking about the weather in Greek. <laughs> Teenagers scare the living shit out of me. Yeah, it's it's a different generation, for sure. Because German sucks. I know, but German is useful. I mean, I look, I, I don't disagree. I'm, I'm not saying German sucks, by the way, but it's a harsh language, you know? And, uh, per, I mean, personally speaking, I don't think it's the most pleasing on the ears. With that said, though, some, sometimes I hear French. I hear people speaking French, and I'm like, I'm like, this sounds goofy as hell, you know? Like, I'll be talking to my friends, and, like, they'll be like, ooh, la, 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 la. And I'm like, what the fuck? Is that even a language, bro? Like, it, it does sound kind of goofy, so I'm biased. But, but at least German, you can speak to people, you know? Latin, it's just like, it's like, okay, you can read really old books, you know, but you could do that with English because they translate those. So I don't know. I'm just a hater. Don't listen to me. French can sound kind of funny. Oh, French can sound goofy as hell. You mean French can sound stupid. But I mean, so does English, you know, so does everything. It's just sounds that we've agreed make sense, but they're just sounds. If you don't speak it, if you've never heard it, it's just a fucking noise. Latin is unnecessary. Can we all agree on that? Yeah, and, and I, I feel like there's got to be a reason they do it because everybody, it's like all schools in Europe teach Latin. So I'm not saying I'm smarter than the European education system, but. I just think Spanish would be more useful. It's so confusing, yeah. All right, let me play y'all a beat. A little beat. I don't have a song on it yet, um, but it's something something I made a couple months ago, and I wrote a whole French song to it, but then I came back from France, and I listened to it, and I was like, I don't like this. So I'm actually currently working on an English song to it. Um, let me just play it real quick. Let me see what we got. As Robbie would say, you guys know Robbie, take it from the top, let's see what we got. Actually, Genevieve, you know Robbie because you were you were at his house at that concert. Um, hold on, give me one second. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Close. It's kind of a different vibe. Very chill. Very mellow. Let me know what you guys think about this, if you can hear it. Is that loud enough? It doesn't have a name yet, it's just a beat. It's just this really, you know, it's kinda This is all I have, I mean it's kinda repetitive, but I love that. We love Robbie, we hate Greg. I'm fine with that. Robbie's a much better man. I don't even know if you guys can hear this bass. Let me get y'all closer to the speaker. 
Alright, that's pretty much it. Uh, you guys are gonna hear a very cool song to that soon. It doesn't have a name yet. Let me play you another beat. Fuck it. We're here. This is, uh... I don't know why the, the beat is called Mad. It's not a mad beat, but... I just named it Mad. Let me hold this. I'm gonna hold this like a boom box. I'm outside your window right now, waiting for you in my boombox. Alright. That is another one. So, that's what I'm working on right now. Um, regarding these songs that are coming out, On Me, I dropped it with a little music video, uh, Midnight, I dropped it just with the cover, I don't have a music video for it, um, but I'm working on one, and I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of deciding right now, I'm in the middle of making a decision about whether, sorry about that, that was my Instagram time limit, because I have a, I have a time limit on my Instagram, so that I don't spend my whole day on my phone, it's 15 minutes, so that just paused the live stream, but we're good. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'm, I'm making a music video right now, but honestly, I think it could be, it could be, the video could be used either for Midnight or for Deja Vu, the song that's coming out, and I'm just thinking to myself, like, do I want to drop a Midnight video now a week later, and then drop Deja Vu without a video, and then struggle to make a video for that, and then I'll feel like I'll be late, or do I just not make a music video for Midnight, leave it as a song, and use the video on Deja Vu? So, um, I don't know why I'm, I'm just kind of thinking out loud, I guess. Um, we'll see what I end up doing, but that's so funny. My time limit just went off as well. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody should have a little time limit on Instagram, man. Make sure you're not out here. Make sure, yo, honestly, everybody check your screen time. Go to your phone settings, check your screen time, check how much time you're spending on Instagram. Cause that shit is not going to help your life. Don't spend four hours on it a day. It's not worth it. Just set a little, set a little time limit for 20 minutes. Get your dose in, get out, get outside, look at the sun, look at the waves, just smile. I have one for TikTok, that's good, that's good. Not to sound preachy or anything, it's way too addictive. Oh, it's, I mean, yeah, for me, like, before I had this time limit, it was just like anytime I had, anytime I had like five minutes in the day, I would just whip out my phone, spend my five minutes on my phone. By the end of the day, it was like, it was like two hours. Um, are you planning new covers? I'm not planning any new covers. Um, oh, that's not true, actually. There is one song I really want to cover. Um, fuck it, I'm gonna play it for you guys, because we're here, the sun's out. How much battery do I have? One second. Okay, can you guys hear me good? Yeah? Yeah, so speaking of covers, there's one song I really want to cover. It's not like a recent song at all. It's actually a really old song. It's by a group named Delegation. They're like a disco group. So I'm going to play it for you guys right now. Let's see, let's see. This is it. So this is like a classic disco song, heavy bass, low funk guitar, just a lot of soul, a lot of vibe, a lot of love, and uh, it's totally my shit, so I kind of want to make a little cover to it, just sing it, remake the beat, maybe add a couple verses, and um, yeah, I've been thinking about it a lot. It's one of my favorite songs right now. Let me know if you can hear this. It's super soul, super funky. 
Yeah, and Sophie. Oh, is there no sound? Can you guys hear this? So I'm really liking this right now. Song's name, this is Oh Honey by Delegation. I'm gonna put it in the chat. Damn it. Damn it. My keyboard put the French accents on there. There's no accents. It's that French life. Talking about love, she's clever. Add a little bit of French. Come on. Stop it, Alina. Stop it. It's not true. I'm just trying to spread a little love. I know she'll never doubt me. It stands by my side. It makes me so proud to know her. I suggest y'all wake up and listen to this in the morning. A little cup of coffee. Mm. This is how I dance to this shit. I know you don't like it, but you're still looking, you're still watching. Mesmerized by these moves. Thank you, Alina. Your hate doesn't get to me. How could it? I'm sitting here in the sun with some disco. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit of a little bit of piss out to it when I do it. Don't even worry. I might speed it up a little bit. But that's the vibe. Wow. Honestly, listening to disco feels weird after that punk concert yesterday. If there's any punk fans in here, I went to see Circle Jerks, by the way. They're like, um, they're like, a, I guess, like a classic punk band. They were all, they were all, all up on stage. The, the lead singer was 66 years old. And like the rest of the band was, they were all in their 60s. And they were fucking out there on the stage all night playing like the fastest music I've ever heard. The drummer was like in his late 50s, just, just going like all night for like two hours. It was pretty fucking wild. I'm not going to lie. But my, my eardrums are, are definitely damaged. I think there may be long-term damage to that, but you know, it was worth it. Mm, honey. It was really cool though, because I've never been into punk music at all. And uh, just seeing a bunch of people with mohawks and tattoos and piercings, like going off. I was jumping in the mosh pit. It was fun. It was fun. It was, uh, yeah, my ears hurt. My head hurts. I'm a little hungover, but it's a beautiful day, so I'm smiling, nonetheless. All right, guys, I got like 6% on my phone, so I'm going to leave y'all here, but thank you for joining. It was a good time hanging out. I'm going to be live streaming a little more um, very soon, and um, yeah.
Go stream Midnight. Go stream on me. Deja Vu is coming out in exactly four days. And it's not going to stop. I'm feeling myself this year. Uh, I got a lot of music. I got a lot of things to talk about. A lot of things to say. And um, I appreciate y'all. So it's going to keep dropping. And um, we're going to keep smiling. Keep living. Keep drinking water. Stay hydrated. Keep dancing. And whatever you do, don't lose the vibe. Have a beautiful Thursday, y'all. Peace.